the less people know about you, the happier you will be. Could it be possible that you share way too much information about yourself too soon just to make a person comfortable with who you are? What I'm realizing is some people cannot handle the truth of who you are. You cannot share everything about yourself to everybody. And what I realize is sometimes we say we have haters and we have people hating on us and they're talking about us. Well, people will have less to talk about if you share it less. Sometimes it's good to be quietly wealthy, quietly successful, quietly happy in your relationship, quietly smashing your goals and dreams because everybody don't need to know everything about you. Sometimes it's good to let people figure it out on their own, but you don't always have to share everything about your life. And sometimes I'm realizing is I'm much happier the less I share about my life. So be very careful with what you share with people. Be very careful what you share too soon with people because not everyone can handle the truth of who you are. And not everybody is going to be happy for you when all good things are happening in your life. Have a great day. Okay, my brothers and sisters, <clears throat> keep your life private. That is why we call it private life. Because you are your own worst enemy. The social media is not your friend. Yes. Please, keep your success to yourself. If you buy a car, you pass an exam, you build a house, anything that is you do, any of your successes that you have, please keep them private. That's your personal business. Don't put yourself out there and invite enemies that at the end you will be the one to regret. People, some people travel, they want to travel. They're in the airport. They'll post pictures of them taking off. We are on the we are going on a two-week vacation with my family, all that stuff. I I I read some story last time that some family they were traveling for vacation for two weeks vacation and they post the pictures on the social media that they'll be on vacation for two weeks before they came back thieves went into their house and took out everything after investigation it was noticed that the thieves they stay in the house for one week because they posted on social media that, that they'll be out for two weeks so they stay in the house for one week they eat their food at the end they carry all the important stuff, TVs, a lot of stuff that cost a lot of money in the house and took it with them. Just because the person posts on social media that's going on vacation, all that stuff. At times we invite our own enemies to ourselves. Yes. And some people, it's very funny because some people, they don't use social media for the right purpose. They use it only to criticize and to insult. For example, you are you are owning a business right now, or you are you are hustling. You are a shoemender, you are a bricklayer, you are a welder. Anything that you are doing in your life right now, you can post it on social media for advertisement. You don't know who who is watching your profile or your page to see what you are doing. So what you are doing, post it there. If you are uh, burning so you are fish, you are bricklayer. Post it on your social media. You don't know who is watching that will be calling you. But what people do is that they, they only post when they are in the bar drinking and enjoying it. They don't post their hustle. Post your hustle on social media so that people should know what you are doing. For example, if you are burning fish, put it on social media. Maybe somebody is having a wedding. They may call you. You are burning soya, all that stuff. You are buying and sell them. Post your hustle on social media. Make social media is very powerful. There are people that are billionaires now through social media, but some of us use it for the wrong reason. Post social media on social media stuff that will make you benefit for something. Yes, a successful businessman is a shameless publicity man. If you want to be a successful in a business, don't be ashamed with your hustle. Let the world know what you are doing. Yes, because somebody through that they may see you if you're a carpenter. Put it on social media. If you are a hairdresser, post it. If, if you are a, a, a designer, all those stuff is supposed to be on your page. So that if somebody, social media is, is free publicity. You don't pay nothing. Just go there, post it at yourself. Instead of posting pictures of you in vacation, enjoying or doing all that stuff, it's not helping you for anything. Make use of social media. There's power in social media. Also, on social media, 
you see you 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 see people posting fake social media is the highest they say 99 percent of what they post on social media is fake some people even go uh, take pictures of mansions or people's house all that stuff posting on social media trying to show the world that they are living a life that they are it's fake life some are even homeless living in mud houses carabot but they'll take pictures of mansion to show people that they are living good life some people don't even have uh, uh, good toilets in their house don't go into somebody's house and take a picture in the bathroom to post that they're using a good toilet that's very stupid people have fake status on whatsapp on social media some that say they have degree they, they go they, they are ceo owners of businesses that they're not even now just living a fake life for nothing. Please just be yourself. It's very simple. Most people post pictures of on social media. Don't, it doesn't even reflect what they are. You are fooling somebody. Some will say they are CEO of businesses. They own a company. All that stuff they are not even up. That's it. Social media is not for, for, it's for business. Post your hustle on social media. Don't be ashamed of what you are doing. It's, publicity is free. Instead of publishing how you are enjoying the bar, drinking, post you, what you are doing in your daily life to make money. Just put it there. Somebody will call you for business. Yes, that's how it works. Some people on social media, they have fake status. Some, some are married, they say they are single. Those that are single, they say they are married. We don't even know what, what's going on anymore. Yes, the worst thing is that some people are even posting fake things on social media. You are inviting your enemies for nothing. We, you are your own worst enemy. You need salvation from yourself. You need to tell the Lord, save me from myself. Yes, you need to say that. The Lord will save you. People, don't let the, the internet rush you. Nobody is posting their failures on the social media. Everybody's posting success. Even in marriages, people post calling their husband honey, sweetheart, darling, but in real life, they call him Johnson, Joshua. Uh, this, just call them anyhow. But in social media, people put out images that they are not real. So don't be fooled by what people are posting out there. Just if you are living private life. The most successful people in the world right now are people that are living their private life. You don't see it on social media. They don't have nothing to show anybody. They are living a very successful life. But us that don't have nothing, we are on social media showing what we don't have. We borrow stuff, we post it, just live a fake life. It doesn't help. I'm just a messenger. Don't kill the messenger. And have a nice day. Be wise, guys. Post your hustle on social media. Don't post pictures enjoying. It's not important. Post your hustle, what you are doing in for your daily life, somebody will see it and call you and give you some business. Yes. Have a nice day, guys, and be wise. I'm the messenger. Don't kill the messenger. Have a nice day.